Well, Jason Derulo, you did it this time, buddy. You got the BTS army angry at you? Are you crazy, man? Those people will tear you apart. To tell us what happened, Kiss Entertainment reporter Deepa Prashad, what did Jason Derulo do to the BTS army. It's not so much what he did do, it's what he didn't do. So Jason Derulo went out to celebrate because Savage Love uh, snagged the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. So that's a really big accomplishment. He partied, he bought everybody shots and food and he posted like the video on Instagram. Did you see the video Oh my him? gosh. He spent $112,000 in one night. And I'm like, Jake, said, what the heck are you doing? And he, they were like, it, it was a weird place. Like he was at a weird bar. It kind of looked like, like a Kelsey's or like, yeah, like but a very expensive version of it. Also, there was no social distancing. No social distancing. And people are like, what? Why is this shot here? Yeah. Jason Derulo got number one. Like, what? Yeah, OK. They're... Yeah, OK. His, his song went to number one and he posted the video celebrating, but he did not mention the guys from BTS. And it's the remix that BTS was on that went to number one. So um, if you're looking at numbers, their video, like their remix video, got 58 million views within the first two weeks. And I think the original song got like 48 million views within the first three months. So it's like a huge discrepancy in terms of like having BTS on the song. That's what pushed it to number one. Absolutely. And it's definitely like the BTS army. They're so they're so supportive of that group that like anything that they're in, they're going to push it to number one. So I was kind of shocked that he didn't include them in like the thanks or the congratulations. Very, very stupid move on Jason Derulo. Number one, as you said, uh, the original uh, of Savage Love didn't make it to number one. Huge hit. Didn't make it to number one. The BTS mix that they put together, boom! The BTS army pushed that song over the finish line, and then Jason Derulo wants to like act like they weren't part of it. I'm sorry, but that's also a very Jason Derulo move yeah. to not give credit. Because remember, Savage Love originally was just some tune on TikTok, and Jason Derulo put lyrics to it and then posted it as Savage Love. Mm -hmm. And the originator, the guy who created the beat, was like, hey, instead of me suing you, why don't we work together and put a song out? So Jason Derulo is not afraid to just kind of steal things and put his own name on it. Yeah, it was kind of like he was basking in his own glory, but like <laughs> he left out half or like 75% of the full equation of yes. this. And so fans are pretty pissed. So like on Twitter, hashtag Jason Derulo party. What's the hashtag? Over party. Oh yeah, hashtag Jason Derulo is over party. Yes, if you trending. get is over partied, it's like that's Watch like your, out, baby. Yeah, it's that's, over. I feel like that's probably one of the scariest things to experience on the internet when you see that you're over. Not only are you over, it's a party. Yeah, it's a party. <laughs> While you're having your own party, the BTS army was having their own cancellation yep. party on you. You don't have to buy the, everyone shots, but you do have to say thank you to BTS. Jason, just thank them. So. Be gracious, man. You got there for a reason. Yeah. It's the BTS army that got you to number one. And yeah. also, you got to be smart. The BTS army are firm but fair. Uh, if you're fair, they will be nice to you. Of course. But they are firm. And if the army decides that you're is over partied, you're his over party. Yeah, you're it's done. done. You're donezo. And so I think he tried to like help his situation. So he posted the video on Twitter and then tagged the group in it. And I'm like, but it's too late too now. Late, You've already been canceled. You should have so. known better. Where, who, who's ta telling him it should be his manager being like, don't Jason, know. don't be stupid here. Come on now. I know, but like the other part of this that's so mind blowing to me is that half a generation of people don't know Jason Derulo, like the artist. They know him from TikTok. Yeah, he's a TikToker. Like, he's a TikToker who got a song on the yeah, radio. Jason Derulo has a whole career aside from TikTok, so that also blows my mind. But no, that's debatable. Uh, what? Yeah. Come on, his Jason Derulo. That is so iconic. That is iconic. But... Like he quotes his own name in his songs. That's how <laughs> self centered he is. And I kind of love it. Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. Smarten up, Jason Derulo. Don't get BTS Army angry at you. It's just, it's a bad idea. Yeah. Shame on you. <laughs>